Welcome to the Games Freezer. Golf has never been so much fun. Golf has never been so much fun. Yes, you heard it here. First, golf has never been so much fun as the ball goes into the... Holy moly! It's hole in one on Super Nintendo. Hello, it's Richard. It's Games Freezer, and this time we are looking at golf games on the Super Nintendo. This is episode one, hole in one golf. We're going to be looking at 18 games, yes, 18 golf games on the Super Nintendo over the course of this series. Um, I love golf games. I've grew up playing golf games. And from memory, my first video game was a golf game, a kind of um, archaic old golf game on like a... Uh, I can't remember the system, but it was one of those uh, kind of Beanatone things, I think. Maybe not. I'm trying to remember what it was. Anyway, it had a kind of paddle controller, and there was a golf game as such on it. Um, and it was very, very basic, but that video game taught me the rules of golf and got me interested in golf. And it was stick men just batting a square ball around the course so ever since then I've uh, I've had a not a love affair with golf games but I've always enjoyed a good golf game so great opportunity to take a look at hole in one golf on the Super Nintendo this is the Japanese version so I've had to kind of skip through all of the uh, bump at the front because I can't understand any of it but I'm kind of getting the uh, getting the gist of the game um, pretty much most golf games are kind of similar, aren't they? You you press the button once to swing your club. Uh, you press the button again, generally, to mark the power on the gauge. And you press the button a final time in order to um, get the accuracy right. And it normally means you need to now a red dot of some kind or a line in order to uh, hit a perfect shot. So no surprises that this game also follows that tried and trusted uh, technique. Up you go, down you come, not a bad shot at all. It went straight down the middle. Oh, that's a cracker. Oh, mate, you're... <laughs> Great sound effects. Awesome. Bunker. Right, okay. So uh, I absolutely creamed that. I honestly didn't expect to cream it. What you also forget is how tough these games were, these uh, golf games. A lot of hand-holding in your uh, Tiger Woods um, and more recently your Rory McIlroy's uh, EA golf games. Uh, whereas these older ones didn't really hold your hand as much. Um, and yeah, and it was a lot of guesswork involved with kind of um, hills, etc. Um Oh, come on, get out of that. Oh, that's it, yeah. Chipped out nicely. See that? Play the percentages, play the percentages. Yeah, so kind of gradients and um, things like that. Almost guesswork. I'm kind of assuming that those dark patches are either uphill or downhill parts of the, the fairway. Probably downhill, but then you don't know how much up or downhill it is. And that's especially true when you get on the greens and it's going, oh, yeah, look at that. Great shot. Absolutely nailed that. Oh. Then again. Maybe because it was uphill it didn't um it didn't travel as far as what I thought it was gonna travel. Hmm. Okay. We can have a little chip on from there, can't we? Chip on from hip on. Bit of judo golf. I don't know what I'm chatting about. I don't know anything about judo apart from what I watched at um Every Olympics that I've ever watched. Anyway, right, what are we taking? Part from the edge of the green. No, let's have a little sandy sandwich. Little dinky dinkaroo, 21 yards. Oh, balls. There's a problem with this game is the, uh, the swing. Oh, the swing on it is a bit rapid, to say the least. 
I don't know whether that's the emulation or what, but it's really tough to... Oh, lovely. Double bogey. Yeah, it's really tough to nail the, um, the putts um, in the middle it seems to go too rapid anyway i like this um i like this mode 7 effect for the uh for the flyby on the hole very good very good i think that was kind of ahead of its time i'm trying to remember when when that kind of came in but it's pretty good come on let's nail this oh shanked it a little bit oh it's going out of bounds no the rough we're in the rough. That's not so bad. It could have been much worse. Okay. Again, I'm not sure really how much it takes off of your potential power when you're in the rough. So we've got 117 to go to the green. Let's see what, where we get to. Oh, that was bad. That was just me being rubbish. I think it just reduces that sweet spot potentially, I think. Okay, that that um darker patch there is downhill, as you can see it hit the bush and then rolled back out again. Let's give it another go. Oh golf, how I love you. Oh yeah, look at that. Go on. Gonna creep on. Gonna creep on. Yes, yeah, surely. Fringes, surely. Twenty-nine yards to go. What's it giving me? What's it giving me? It's giving me the putter. See what I can do with it. Not much. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was pathetic, to say the least. Come on, let's rattle this one in. Oh, that was crap. All oh, down the green. Oh, that's alright. Oh god. I'm probably going to be free putting in here at least. Oh, he's jammed it in from the edge of the green. Nice. Double bogey. I'm happy with that. Two double bogeys. Two double bogeys so far, mate. Hole three. Par five. 519 yards. It's a monster. So we do the flyby. Plenty of water. Oh, dear. My ball's going to be like a magnet to that water, isn't it? Mm. Okay. So this, uh, this play is safe. Kind of drop it down a club. I don't think I'm going to clear all that water, am I? So let's see if I can uh, get onto that little island in between the water. Or not island, it's a bit of fairway in between the, where the water crosses over it. Bounce on there, take it easy. Don't want to get caught in that uh, little river. River of Babylon. Right, here we go. Nailed it. Ah, you are joking me. Great water hazard <laughs> sound effect, though. So someone just died. Right, anyway. Let's get to it. Let's get out of this one. Let's have some courageous golf. Uh, we're not going to be playing with a driver from the edge of the water. We are going to be hitting a nice one iron. Oh, look at that. And that's why I put the one iron in my bag. You'll have seen that at the start when I was going through my bag. Um, just trying to make sure I got me one iron in there. The trusty one iron. Top tip for anyone playing any golf game. Always put a one iron in your bag. On a real course, don't bother. You ain't hitting that. Um, anyway, right. Chip in. Come on. Chip in Sodbury. Shank that really. And I, oh dear. Oh. Oh, he skimmed the water and he's come out the other side. <laughs> That's class. Oh, God. This, this is not boding well, is it? God, oh, come on. Bodie and Doyle. Let's get on with this. Little chipperoo, mate. Little chip, chip, chipperoo. Oh, that was a chip, chip, chipperoo. Chipper don't. Okay, right. Got to be careful with this. Again, kind of little tippy tappy putts are really tough I'm not sure but once I set the power why can I not oh balls right kind of back up the hill or is that up oh god it's, it's a nightmare oh, I left myself with a my monster green here haven't I shot 7 go on go on go on oh 
Taparoo. Little tap tap. Come on, Taparoo. Yeah. There you go. Right, so that's hole in one golf. I'm just going to play three holes of every golf game I play because I'm sure you don't want to watch me go through 18 holes. So, what do I say about this? Fun factor. I'm going to give it a three out of five fun factor. Goodbye, my friends. Until next time, stay frosty, freezer followers.